One vigorous shake is all it takes. In a few seconds, all almonds have fallen from the tree. Huge almond orchards are an increasingly familiar sight in Andalusia, changing the landscape of the southern Spanish region. 80% of the world's almond production is in California and Spain lags behind Australia in third place. But some farmers here are stepping up to try and compete with the US giant. You have to remember that Spanish missionaries were the ones who brought the almonds to the United States. They've developed a series of varieties that have other features. They're very fruitful, but they don't have the richness in good fats and sugar that the Spanish almond has. Growing consumer demand for the nut has seen global production double in a decade, reaching 1.2 million tons. The boom is pushing farmers to develop new orchards using updated planting methods. Now, many producers aim to put large quantities of the same variety on the market and avoid selling bitter almonds like they did in the past. With these batches, we can compete with them. Before, we couldn't compete with the batches of non-pare or caramel-type almonds they did, and with the many ancient varieties we had. With a price of close to 5 euros a kilo, farming almonds is much more profitable than other more traditional crops like cotton and cereal and farmers believe the market will keep on growing. The rise in demand has pushed Cristobal to delve into almond processing, hoping to make bride products in the future. The farmers practically pushed us to develop this industry. Many almond orchards are being created and there is no almond industry in the area. There are some factories nearby, but they can't take on all the production there is, which is why other factories are proliferating. Despite water restrictions imposed on farmers, particularly in the parched south, Spain is hoping to harvest more than 60,000 tonnes of almonds this season, 15% more than last year. A record, even if it's still far from US or Australian production.